The freestyle wrestling competition at the Tokyo Olympics gave Russia three Olympic champions. I have already talked about the triumph of two of them, Abdul Rashid Sejlev and Zorbik Sidikov, earlier on the channel, who have not yet seen these clips. The links will be in the description. Today, we will talk about the third hero of the Tokyo Olympics, two-time world champion Zorbikov from Dagestan. But before you learn about his difficult path to the Olympic final, let's learn in more detail about his competitive career and achievements in freestyle wrestling that preceded this triumph. Zor began his athletic journey at the age of eight, coming to the freestyle wrestling section together with his older brother. At first, for the boy's sport was just a game, which did not arouse his interest. But with each training session Yugayev became more and more attached to wrestling and less and less imagined his life without it. Yugayev began to participate in children's competitions at the age of 10, and at the age of 16 Zor achieved his first big victory. The wrestler performed at the World Championship in Shambhadli, Hungary. A year later Zor consolidated his success at the World Tournament in Baku. Then in the career of the athlete came a difficult period. After the Junior World Championships in Sofia, Yugov's doping test showed a positive result, because of which the wrestler was deprived of a gold medal and disqualified for two years. This news was told to the unsuspecting Zor by his coach when he had already returned to his native Kasavyart. After the end of the ban, the wrestler returned to competition, but almost immediately suffered a knee injury, which caused him to drop out of the sport for another six months. After recovering his health, Yugave got stronger and continued to compete with renewed vigor. In 2016, the talented Dagestani wrestler was noticed by the Russian national team and invited to join the team. A year later, Yugave climbed the first steps of the podiums of the Grand Prix Ivan Yergin and the Championship of Russia, held in Nezrin. Zor also competed at the 2017 European Championships in Novi Sad, Serbia, and reached third place. In 2017, Yugave strived to win his debut World Championship but under the pressure of emotions lost in the first bout to an athlete from India. For Zor such a result was a collapse, but the coaches did not ban the inexperienced wrestler. By all means, the Degastani decided to prove that this failure was an accident, and he succeeded. The 2018 season in the career of the wrestler was rich in victories, so he returned to the Krasnoyarsk Grand Prix and again bypassed all rivals. Yugayev also defended the championship title at the All-Russian Championship, which he later confirmed twice more in 2020 and 2021, and at the 2018 European Championships held in Kaspisk. Zor improved his own last year's achievement by one step, taking the silver medal. But the wrestler achieved the best results at the 2018 World Championships held in Budapest. At this World Championship, Zor performed through pain, agonizing from a sprained ligament. In the final bout, the wrestler was even visited by medics on the mat, but nothing prevented him from gaining a willful victory over Kazakh Nuruslem Senayev. And in 2019, Yugave was on his way to the World Championships already in the rank of the favorite. In the finals, or brilliantly coped with the Turk Suleiman Etli and confirmed the title of world champion in freestyle wrestling in his usual lightest weight category, up to 57 kilograms. Also this year, Zorgay became the third at the European Games in Minsk and took gold at the World Cup in Belgrade. After that, the Dagestani set a new goal for himself, to win the Olympic Games. The way to the Olympic final was very difficult for Zor and was like the scenario of a dramatic movie. In one-eighth of the final, Yugave was losing to American Thomas Gilman 3 for with 10 seconds left, but in the end, he won 5 for with a spectacular shot. The quarter-final bout with Gulamzon Abdalev was even more dramatic. The Uzbek fought as if it were his last fight in life. 10 seconds before the end of the fight, his opponent had a two-point lead, but Yugave pulled himself together, knocked Abdalev down, even the score, and moved on thanks to a last-second takedown. In the semi-finals, the Russian met with the Iranian Reza Atri. For the first half of the fight, the wrestlers were on equal terms, but in the second half, Yugev simply defeated his rival. 8-3 and Zor is in the final. Yugev's opponent in the final bout was two-time Asian champion Ravi Kumar from India. From the first seconds of the fight, Yugayev began to attack aggressively. At the very beginning, Zor managed to push his opponent off the mat twice. For each action, the fighter received a point. But the Indian did not give up, 
he put the Dagestani in the parter, for which he earned two points. After that, he gave quickly recovered, also taking his opponent to the floor. And the first round remained for Zor for two. In the second, Ugave continued to attack aggressively. He once again pushed Ravi Kumar off the meta and then took him to the floor. Ugave's advantage was only growing. With two minutes to go, the Indian was fully engaged. He went on the attack, scored two points, but was unable to do more. Ugaev withstood the final siren and held his opponent by the neck. The fight ended with the score 7-4. Zorgave is the Olympic champion.